Yeah, yeah, baby. Vic. <laughs> okay. I gotta move. Well, I, I know some Ryu. Vix uh, in there. Vix uh, in there. Uh, uh, yeah. Oh, we're back. Oh, oh I'm sorry. Uh, we're lost in Street Fighter, guys. <laughs> we got the two player going. And it's Vic. Vic just schooled me one I, round. I, I gotta. I, I did some Hadoukens. Hold on, hold on. Almost we, a perfect. Yeah, we're it's we're up one also. Just give us a second. Okay, Sagat wins. All right, we got a show to get to anyways. Good job, buddy. <laughs> Good Great job. Match. This is so cool. <laughs> very cool. Uh, very uh, cool. So, yeah, New Wave Toys and uh, Replicate. Love it. Very yeah. cool. Okay, so we'll, we'll keep this over here. This will entice you until the battery runs out. <laughs> um, okay. We have a, 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 a lot to get into. This is a... Um, uh, a very interesting quarter. There's lots of big games heading our way, right, mm -hmm. my friend? Oh, there's so many. Yes. But I almost feel like a lot of developers are now shying away from the fall season as well. Yeah. I feel like quarter one is now turning into a scary territory yeah. as well. I don't know if that was on purpose or no, like I things just started is. to slide. Yeah. And I was like, oh, okay, I guess we're hitting yeah. March. They still got to get it in their financial year. Yeah. Right. But exactly. uh, yeah, which is fine. Games should be good all year round, right? Mm -hmm. We should have lots to play all year round. Absolutely. Um, but we still have some very big games, and we're kind of on the road to the Rocket and Raygun Awards right now. Oh. Uh, but let's talk about some of these big titles. Let's start with um, Death Stranding. Are you super psyched for You bought Listen. something for this, didn't Listen, you? Listen, yeah. I am a big Kojima fanboy. Me boy. too, me too. He is the only man who can make me spend $350 <laughs> Canadian on a plastic baby. <laughs> so come November 8th, Vic, I will be a father with you, all right? Oh, we will both be parents. <laughs> Your eventual <laughs> child. Yes. Your Which, real life child. I'll if, bring, if you choose to have one, I'll bring. We'll inherit this wonderful yeah. <laughs> toy that you are buying right now. Scott Jones used to make fun of me all the time for all the action figures that I collect. <laughs> and he'd say, "Your kid's just gonna love this Batman that you bought today." Listen, listen. This, this one coach. day, Ruby, this will be yours. <laughs> <laughs> Ruby's gonna be done with Batman oh, by yeah. the time she's by the time she's 18, 20. Uh, absolutely. Um, but I'm absolutely stoked. The more gameplay I see about this game, the more intrigued I am. Mm -hmm. They're using the Decima engine, same yep. engine as Horizon Zero Dawn. Okay. Oh, cool. Yes, that's and, right. Yeah. You know, it's it's kind of nice for me to see Kojima finally make something outside of Metal Gear. I mean, he's done it before. Yeah. He's made Police Knots. He's made Snatcher. Yeah. He's helped with Castlevania, Zone of Enders. Zone of the Enders. Yeah. Fantastic games. Mm -hmm. All fa anything he's touched has been great. Yeah, and I know I sound like a complete fanboy right now, but Bok it's true. Well, he he is a consummate perfectionist, and he he, and he, uh, he leads his team, at, you know, and drives them very hard. Uh, and he expects a lot out of the mm -hmm. people that he works with, and yeah. he puts everything he's got into all of this stuff. You would know because you did the documentary. Yeah, for Metal Gear I've known Solid him, for. and I've known <laughs> known his team members, and yeah, and yeah. Uh, yeah, they're incredible artists. So yes, I'm ext I'm extremely excited yeah. about this. Although the gameplay that I've seen looks very empty. It doesn't look like there's a lot Looks going empty. on. For sure. Know? But one thing we got to keep in mind, though, Kojima is very well known for trolling people yeah. during the trailer stage. 100%. You know, and we've I haven't seen it been... with Metal Gear Solid 2. We've seen it before. A MGS 2 is the only one where I, 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 on repeat plays, it's a little disappointing for me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But the other ones have been That's fair. phenomenal. Oh, you know, so good. yeah, he is so good. he is extraordinarily talented for sure, and so is his his team. November eighth, ladies and gentlemen. All right, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order, also a November game coming up soon. Is I, it November? It's yeah, it's November. It's a, uh, yes, it's November fifteenth. Okay, exactly. So, but you haven't played after. this. I played this at E three. Yeah, you got to let me know how yeah. it was because when I saw the gameplay at E three, I'm stoked for this game. I love Star Wars. Yeah, I. It's not a game to watch. Okay, it's a game to play. Interesting. Yeah, and there's a lot of those. Yeah. And I mean, it's like um, watching. Uh, they're they're shooting for a Dark Souls slash Metroidvania kind of mm, vibe, okay? Yeah, yeah. Where there's lots of nooks and crannies and lots of things to explore. Interesting. But it's not even about that. It's about the force powers and your abilities. The story that, probably is the a big story buddy. for sure. Yeah, yeah, and it's all being you know uh, overseen by the Star Wars story mm. group. But uh, honestly, you feel like a badass. It's the guys that some of the guys worked on God of War. Oh, interesting. Right? Like, uh, interesting. Um, the head guy, I forget his name right now, but he's a God of War vet, and there's oh, uh, one of the combat designers from God of War worked on the game for this. And so what I played, mm -hmm. I got to sort of do some exploration, but I got a really good sense of how awesome the combat feels. And you, you remember how kick-ass you felt in Force Unleashed. Oh, yeah. Hell right? Yeah. So there's a lot <laughs> of that kind of flair, but with modern horsepower. Yeah, see, the one thing that really shocked me about this game was the fact that obviously it's respawn making it. Yeah. But they're not using the frostbite engine for I it. I know. They're using the Unreal engine for it. Yeah. Which makes me wonder what exactly, you know, 
made that decision happen? I think I think there are development teams within EA that are starting to have a little bit of pull based mm. on some of the uh, missteps that other developers that were kind of pushed into a position of having to use Frostbite yeah, yeah. have taken. So there's some some really good examples of uh, maybe this was not the right choice. Right choice yeah. uh, I, I had uh, Will Ho from the NHL team, and he was very honest and upfront about the fact that they didn't use Frostbite, didn't work for NHL, mm. and, uh, and, and that's cool. You know, they have the ability to say, nope, this isn't the way that we're going to go, and they went this way. And so does Respawn. Respawn mm. is, honestly, the, the chips are high on uh, Respawn... Um, you know, converting on the investment over oh, there. Yeah. And That's they incredible. are. They're an yeah. incredible team. They I, are. I still this... want Titanfall 3. Uh, please. Yeah. <laughs> please. I cannot wait. Me the game, either. The game looks fantastic. Yes. Another game you tried. Yep. Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Yeah. 10, 15 years from now, Vic, how are we going to refer to all these game titles uh, that they're just, reusing old titles? They'll just have the year behind. <laughs> I mean, I just did uh, Grid, right? That's I just crazy. did Grid again. And Mortal Grid Kombat was... did that in 2011 when it came out. And yeah. It happens all the time now. Yes. But I, I'm seeing a lot of old school Call of Duty players and Call of Duty vets from the Modern Warfare era from 2007 to 2009 yeah. come back to this game. It and seems like want to sort of re, uh, sort of invent that brand exactly. and reown that brand, mm -hmm. right? Because Modern Warfare arguably is as powerful a brand as Call of Duty is. Yeah, yeah. right. Absolutely. And they want to. They they are definitely being edgy. They're definitely you know uh, courting controversy yeah. with some of the subject matter in this game. Um, not you, the multiplayer. But multiplayer. you look at the previous games too, Vic. They were pretty controversial. Controversial. Some yeah. of the scenes in there, you know, the the airport was it called the terminal or whatever in yeah. Mo Modern Warfare Two. Yes, the uh, no, no Russians. No, yeah. There's yeah. just there was a lot of crazy crazy levels, and I think they're following that. Uh, but th this was um, really shocking. Mm -hmm. Do you know what what happens? In no, the I do player? not know. Yeah, you, uh, you're a child uh, caught up in the warfare, and you wow. watch your dad die. And in first person? It's, it's like the Syrian gas attacks. Wow. And uh, so you're a little kid, you know, at yeah. waist height, running around as people are choking and dying. And, and you have to kill people as a little kid in order to, really? to, to stay alive. And it's like... I did not know about any yeah, of this. Right? <laughs> so suddenly, and, and all, everything is really getting edging up close to photo real and mm. and uh it was uncomfortable there were a whole bunch of us journalists in the room getting a kind of a taste of the the single player um story and it was like whoa man this was weird and then we left and played some of the multiplayer and the multiplayer was like hella fun and crazy and like mm. we were in a theme park and, and it was you know photo real and and tactile and and uh tactical um, and that's where the, the long legs of Call of Duty always are, but that single player campaign, they want it to be a gut punch, and I yeah. think it will be, I and I think a lot of people are gonna be talking about they're it. They're really, I mean, I think yeah. they are fishing for those headlines yes. in, in a way, um, but again, a great direction. I think they went a little too far with the future warfare stuff and yep. people having abilities. Yep. You know, I played, was it Black Ops 3 or 4? Yeah. And I, I remember... Like, I like the first space one that they did with, with Kevin Spacey. Future Warfare, was it? Uh, Advanced I think so. Warfare. Or Advanced Warfare, yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. they... <laughs> I felt like I was playing Destiny at a certain point. For people sure. doing ground pounds and just insane abilities. Yeah. I'm glad we're kind of taking it back. Uh, yeah, it's true because if we don't do that, then all of the shooters start to blend into one exactly, game. Right? Exactly. Right? And you can't tell where one ends mm -hmm. and one begins. Um, we've got uh, The Outer Worlds coming from uh, uh, Obsidian, Obsidian yes. who I love. That team is amazing. That was uh, honestly one of my favorite experiences, too, was working on the New Vegas making of and getting to know all of those guys who are all vets, who yeah. have all been making uh, action role-playing experiences, a lot of them from the top-down era, for ages. They worked at the Black Isle group at, yeah. uh, um, uh, well, what was the name of the developer? Interplay, yeah, Interplay, way back in the day. And just incredibly gifted storytellers. I think this game is gonna be, it was one of my picks, that and Luigi's Mansion for best game coming out of E3. I, th I think you can ask many Fallout fans out there, yeah. and they will tell you their favorite game was New Vegas, because it was so different, it was yep. so crazy, and yep. I think there's a lot of Fallout fans that are absolutely stoked for this title. Yeah. And you know what's crazy to me about it too? When I watched the trailer, it looks so much like Fallout with yeah. just how the characters move. It's yeah. not using, I think it was called the Gamebryo engine is what they use over there yeah. with the Fallout team and Skyrim's used it. They've overused that engine a lot. Yeah. But now um, The Outer Worlds is using 
the Unreal Engine as well. Yeah. But I just don't know how they made it look so similar. Well, they to learned Fallout. a few things. <laughs> yeah, it's it's almost <laughs> unreal to me of like no pun intended yeah. <laughs> of how you know just how similar it looks. That's the game I'm most excited about. Yeah. For the rest of the year, that and Luigi's Three. I think that could be a real sleeper hit. Yeah. That will come out of nowhere. Oh, I think it's going to be huge. It looks like a perfect blend between Fallout and Borderlands. Yep. Yep. So uh, we've got Need for Speed Heat which Ooh. is coming up very quickly. And uh, this is Ghost Games stepping into the batter's box again. And Once th- again, Vic, yeah. listen, what was the last one called? Payback? Yeah. That one should have been called Payday. Yeah. Because EA was making that money well, with those loot boxes, not really. with those cards. That, well, yeah. I'm sure that they were. That came and went, that yeah. game. That was like, oh, it's co- it's out. It's already, oh, my God. And it's, nobody talked about Payback. I'm, I'm a little worried for the Need for Speed franchise. It's very well known. I hope this game is a hit. It looks like they're taking a step back. They've clearly said in the first trailer, yeah, you know, you're gonna gain reputation points like Need for Speed 2015. Yeah, I'm, I'm just concerned if this game does not really. It's such a precarious situation. Yes. I did a Twitter poll, you know, which was just so blatantly. Of course, it was going to skew. I asked people uh, if if uh, microtransactions should be a part of AAA games, yeah, yeah. and it was ninety-one percent no. <laughs> and I'm like, who is that nine percent that said <laughs> yes? Yeah, you know, <laughs> I'm sure it was people that work at EA and Two K yeah. and, <laughs> and Activision. <laughs> but you know, people just don't, don't want to hear that noise yeah. anymore, man. They need to be careful because yeah. look at what Forza is doing. Right. Forza Horizon being the art, like amazing yeah. arcade racer. Yes. Even Gran Turismo. I know that's a simulator game. A Gran Turismo Sport has been amazing. Yeah. They've been releasing updates every month. Yes. And that game's like a complete package now. Yeah. And I love racers. I have a whole steering wheel rig in my oh, place. Oh, you do? I do. I, yeah. I love that whole genre. But with Need for Speed, I, I feel like they're still not sure if they want to go too too arcadey, a little yeah. realistic, yeah. bit of the mods. I feel like they need to go all out with take the burnout route. Well, they honestly they should have burnout be a pillar for yeah. EA. That was an incredible brand, and they should have kept a team on Need for Speed mm-hmm. and let them live. I, I I know what happens is that co- the uh, some of the developers they get a bit of burnout, no pun intended, <laughs> on these titles, yeah, yeah. and they want to make changes and and people move and and it's such a vaunted brand, but. Yeah. It almost needs a shepherd. It needs somebody that that knows what the road is going to be for mm-hmm. Need for Speed to stay with it, and to really think through not just one game but iterations of of uh, games that satisfy on every level. And it's tough, man. I mean, uh, they started a team in a different city with Ghost Games. Mm-hmm. They all moved to um, uh, it's Southern uh, Sweden. I forget the oh, name of it. Interesting. Yeah. Uh, Gothenburg, which I've heard is an, a beautiful city, but they they started a whole new division down there to build Need for Speed stuff. That's hard building a company in a mm-hmm. studio. I think they did a be- they've done a great work with the visuals of Need for Speed, but now they really got to deliver something that uh, yeah. that matters again. And it's you know? bi-yearly now. It seems like that they're yeah. releasing right. It's smart. So yeah. It, yeah, it's smart. But I would love to see Burnout be thrown in there. It's a Absolutely. bit of a sad time for racing games. When yeah. You think about what happened to the MotorStorm team and I know. the I, Onrush team. That's and a, just, that's a franchise that should come. Back. Oh, of course. And of course. Sony Motorstorm. should work with all those devs. Yeah. They should also figure out how to bring Mod Nation Racers back yeah. as well. Twisted uh, Metal. <laughs> Pokemon, uh, Pokemon Sword and Shield is going to be um, the Brinks trucks driving around <laughs> streets of the city, every city out there, bringing money straight to Nintendo. That's coming out pretty, pretty November soon. 15th release date for Pokemon Sword and Shield. Amazing. Now, a lot of people are calling this game Pokemon Breath of the Wild. Right. Because if seeing from the trailers, you now physically see all the... I mean, you saw them physically. You saw that you see them in real size, I should say. Yeah. And it's just... the. the it's amazing that we now have like a full on console yeah. Pokemon yes. experience. Yes. That it, it looks incredible. And yeah. I think that it's time for me to finally come back. The last one I went and played was Pokemon X and Y. Yep. And since then, I've watched my girlfriend Those were play good. Those each were good. one. She's played the, what was the, the, the Hawaii one that came out? I Sun did. and Moon. Yeah, Those sun and good. moon. Then yep. there was let's go Pikachu. Yeah, I, I I get into them and yeah. then I move on. You know, yeah. they, and it, like I was there when they launched Pokemon, interviewing Nintendo <laughs> people. One, like, yeah. what is this Pokemon thing? <laughs> what is all this stuff? And I, it's been mind blowing for me to to watch yeah. these things just erupt. Uh, and now my kid is getting into the Pokemon yeah. games a little bit. It's incredible. She's been wanting to get start getting into Pokemon cards. I'm like, well, how uh, about you yeah. get to know the games? Listen, first. Vic, yes. if you're allowed to have three thousand Batman <laughs> <Yeah>. toys. <laughs> 
Ruby is allowed to have a few Pokemon true, cards, true. all right? Yeah, <laughs> I, I think she will. But this will probably be her Pokemon. This yeah. one will probably be that's her incredible. Pokemon. Can you imagine this being someone's first Pokemon game? I know, right? Oh, my God. That's uh, beautiful. Shenmue 3. Are we sure that's coming out this year? <laughs> like how we have to yell at Blake over here. So far, I've seen a November 19th release date. Okay, first. okay. There's been some demo gameplay out. Yeah. What's incredible about Shenmue 3 yeah. is that it looks... Like an old Shenmue game I in know. 2019, like the the animations, the movement, the when, gameplay looks when similar. They, and when they revealed some of that footage, which was two years ago, yeah, people were up in arms about that. Four years ago. Four years ago. Four, okay, yeah. people were like, "Oh my God, no way! It can't look like that." You yeah. know, they they wanted to kind of evoke that that golden era back then. Yeah. Uh, but they didn't want it to look that much like a Dreamcast game. <laughs> but now, yes. in this retro kind of crazy world that we're in right now, people are like, yeah, uh, bring on the but Dreamcast. Well, we got to mention, though, that they, they did improve the visuals a lot yes. since yeah. then. There yeah. have been upgrades. The main general gameplay is the same, but I don't think that's a bad thing. No. I saw the gameplay and I was like, wow, I think this is what I want to get into. Yeah. I'm just curious to see how will Shenmue survive in a world where Yakuza exists. I know. Because the Yakuza franchise pretty much got so much from yeah. from Shenmue, right? I love the Yakuza games. Oh, they are so good. Yeah. I just started them and I, I'm They're mad crazy at myself. games, right? I, yeah, I'm they're mad so at myself fun. that I haven't started earlier. Well, that's on purpose. Sega has, has been uh, very smartly re-releasing -re yeah. every one of the games on PlayStation 4 so you can have a box set of all of them. Yeah all upgraded and they look incredible. I know they're a great franchise. Uh, yes, yeah, so that's a very good point. How is it going to stack up? Uh, I played one and two when they re-released them and I, it was like, mm, yeah, they're, they're not really, really. Yeah. And I think part of it was Yakuza. I think you're absolutely mm -hmm. dead on there with that. Luigi's Mansion 3 is coming up very soon. Uh, super psyched for this. It looks like you're getting to play as a Luigi toy. Next level games. Yes. They're back. I know. They're, and they're, they're going to be on the show soon, too. That's fantastic. We're working on a couple of different things to have them come because it's made right here in Vancouver, which is awesome. I'm just happy that they have a platform now. I feel like no, Luigi's Mansion 2 came out, did well. Yep. It's called Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon. Yeah. Love that game. I, yeah, it was great, but I feel like some people brushed it off because it was a portable game. Yeah. I'm glad to see Luigi's Mansion now back. Yes. You know, on this hybrid console, but it is a full powered machine. Let's talk about this portable situation here because yeah. that game is excellent. And I, I don't, I think you're right. I don't think enough people played yeah. that amazing game. I was thinking the other day, and I'm sure lots of people have been thinking this too, but why don't they do 3DS and DS games on, on our phones? Why, why doesn't yeah. Nintendo make an eShop and let you buy some of those games and let them survive? Because now yeah. they're, they're slowly killing off these systems, so people are going to have to go to retro stores and, and buy the cartridges and get all the stuff. People should be able to play mm -hmm. Dark Moon. I wonder, though, I feel like Nintendo has not had a great relationship with mobile right now. They've had some rough patches. Yeah. I feel like there's a lot of bad press around, press around this Mario Kart situation. Mm -hmm. Super Mario Run did not do nearly as well as they hoped. Yeah. And I, I'm, I'm also just wondering how they're, they're going to have to report these games. Because remember, the 3DS was an, a unique console. Two, two screens. Dude, if they did a deal with Google and Apple where they cut <laughs> yeah, them they, in on they, the thing and they created their own store. They'll do it for them. <laughs> well, they, it would be done very well. Yeah, and, yeah. and if it was all sort of, and it was like Im, embedded within a, a new store. I think we'll reach there. I think we'll I, get to that point. People would go crazy yeah, for that. I think we're only a few years away before we start getting many more. I mean, yeah. Square Enix has done that. For a while now yeah. where they've been releasing every final fantasy yeah. on mobile and they look they look great yeah i just you want them all contained within something right like no. this apple arcade is kind of a That's nice right. way we're going to talk about apple Arcade if we have time mm -hmm. uh okay uh the med medieval uh, remake is looking pretty damn sweet so just to mention luigi's mansion 3 october yeah. 31st halloween release date. of course yes and uh medieval remake just almost a week before, October 25th. Very Halloween-y type game, What right? do you think about it? Did you try the demo? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, I think it's it looks great. It looks really cool. I mean, the game didn't blow me away when it first came out. I thought it was <laughs> yeah. pretty good. Yeah. I was reviewing games then. So, yeah, it was, I reviewed the game right. and thought it was it was good. You look younger than me, Vic. But it was... Uh, thanks, bud. Uh, Blake's got the young and handsome filters on. Yeah, he's got yeah, the, yeah, the Snapchat yeah. filters. Yeah. Uh, I think um, this is uh, Digital, ex digital Eclipse. I always get extremes and eclipse mixed up. Digital eclipse yeah. out of uh, the Bay Area that worked on this, and they've done a really good job. These guys are crazy about the details and getting everything just right, but also modernizing. They they love classic games. So. I love the way Sony has been approaching these remakes, by the way. Obviously, yeah. I think the, the success of the Crash trilogy really started all this. Yeah. 
and you know, Shadow maybe, of the Colossus. Shadow of the Colossus was another one. Yeah. You mentioned Spiral earlier. Yep. You know, I feel like they're going to keep coming. I'm really happy that Medieval's getting some love because this was a big franchise for Sony yep. when they first started. And I did play the demo. I'm a little worried about the frame rate, but it looks beautiful. I love yeah. the new Dan Cam, they call it, where yeah. you can go into like thir- third person view. Yeah. And it's only 40 bucks here in Canada, 30 bucks in the US. I think it's going to be a sweet thing. And I honestly, so, it's yeah. been pretty quiet in PlayStation 4 land. So I'm, I'm excited about the medieval uh, remake there. Um, I think we are going to do... Uh, the other games are good, but I don't, I don't know if the, we want to talk yeah. about them too much. We got the, the new WWE 2K20, <laughs> which Jose is going to get a report Ooh. on, and he's going to send that back for us. Uh, Plants vs. Zombies, uh, Battle for Neighborville. I just got my review code, so we'll have a uh, review of that next week. So uh, the, WWE is October 22nd, yep. and Plants vs. Zombies October 18th. So Mo- October is looking really packed. Right Moons now. of Madness, is that out before Halloween? That's on Halloween as well. That's a good game. For, I, ha- for I, Halloween. I, I played that at E3. This is Funcom, a different <sighs> direction for them, very creepy. Uh, I've got a review code of that coming, Ooh. so I'll have I'll have some thoughts on that. I'm gonna you know what that game needs, week. though? Moons of Madness needs VR. I feel uh, to get yeah. the perfect feel and mood of that game, like they need to do a VR port. Speaking of VR, next week I'm going to be doing a kind of a catch up on a lot of VR content ah. and talking about Asgard's Wrath. Uh, which No Man's Sky? Uh, I might, yeah, I'll check out oh, No Man's yeah. Sky for please, sure in VR. Please. You're back, you're big time on oh, No Man's. Oh my God, it's amazing. Uh, I was uh, on Oculus stuff all day yesterday and it was a lot of fun. So mm-hmm. I'll, have, I'll have some thoughts on uh, some VR uh, stuff next week. So stay tuned for that. Um, and uh, uh, Mario and Sonic Olympic Games. Well, for that, I actually have a, uh, a first look and some Ooh. first thoughts. Let's take a look right now.